Now, if you don't like spoilers, please don't watch this video. If not, enjoy. So, uh, at night there are several things happening there, and one of them, of course, you know, is the tarantula, uh, scary tarantula. The other one, there is a ghost. Now, uh, this is actually the uh, second time I actually see this ghost. Uh, it's called the Wisp, uh, and you need to search for it in your island. And I actually came in, uh, came by this ghost accidentally, I'm just hanging around at night, and I then I saw it. Another surprise in Animal Crossing. This game always surprised me. So basically, once you see it, you need to interact with it, and then uh, instead of you getting scared of it, it's going to get scared because of you. So uh, then uh, it's going to turn into kind of a uh, weird looking uh, ghost shape uh, because it, it lost its all its spirits. So what you need to do is collect all the spirits and bring it back and then you're going to get a reward. So that's the basic stuff. So it's kind of a, a fetch quest uh, which you can repeat each night and you get a reward for this. Uh, you're going to see some uh, what it is, what I get. Um, now the thing is that at the end it's going to give you two choices whether you want something that uh, you don't have or something expensive you can decide and sometimes i switch between the two but i think at the beginning of the game because you don't have a lot of stuff you can ask for the expensive maybe you can even sell it if you don't like it uh all right so let's jump on to the search now it took me quite some time uh to find all those uh uh, ghost spirits, uh, some of them are easy to locate. Uh, I, I, sometimes what I do, I just try to do horizontally, moving horizontally when I have a vintage point, but the problem is that uh, you don't actually have a good view of the scene because you can rotate the camera 360 degrees, so you have a very limited field of view. That's why it takes some time to find all those spirits. And I think uh, many uh, things in the mini games in this game are built around this limited field of view, like the tarantula, right? If you could just rotate the camera and see it, uh, it wouldn't be that you know uh, uh, intense, right? But when you walk in a limited field of view, you know that uh, the tarantula can can appear any single moment, and you can't really see it. Uh, so. Uh, I'm scared of the tarantula, so I'm just trying to move slowly, but with the net, of course. Uh, the net, because if I see the tarantula and uh, it jumps on me, I can capture it. Uh, but the good thing is that while you're hanging around the island, you can actually find uh, lots of good stuff. Now, that's true to any uh, uh, any day, right? But the thing is that it was a good day for me. So, I, I found a few uh, blue butterflies, or I forgot their name, uh, and actually... Uh, uh, they're worth quite a, f quite a lot, so I'm going to turn them later in the shop and sell them. Here you can see there's another uh, spirit that I found near my heart-shaped uh, lagoon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A little pond. <laughs> uh, and then I actually circulated it. I checked the time. It actually took me quite a few minutes. But on the way, if I already do this, uh, yeah, there's another one. <coughs> uh, and I actually found a few uh, shells and other stuff around the island, so I was pretty happy. It's better than just, you know, circulating the entire island for like 15 minutes and just trying to find those. But the thing is that you get good stuff usually at the end and, you know, it's, it's, it's usually rewarding, so I usually enjoy what I'm getting at the end. Uh, here you can see the blue butterfly. And of course, it's important, by the way, to check uh, how much those worth. I sell them one by one, so I can see what's worth more. But you can also find a, pr a, pr a price list, also a low price list, a sell list, on a different website online, so you can know which one is worth a lot and which one you should spend time on, uh, you know, on getting. Some butterflies just worth almost nothing, and so it doesn't worth spending the time on them. But this one is actually worth quite a few. I think 3,000 bells, not sure. Uh, something around uh, uh, this amount. Now, if you get to the ghost uh, r only with a few pieces, it's going to tell you only find a few. Uh, you need to go back. There's another butterfly. Uh, you need to go back and search for it. And you won't get the rewards if you just try to deliver only a few ones. And you can actually change the inventory and see uh, how much you got. And this is actually uh, another gift that I saw. <laughs> Amazing, right? I mean, two gifts almost like uh, in a very short amount of time, which is actually rare. I didn't get a chance to do this. I wish I had like a, a bounty for this so I can finish it, but I didn't have. 
Never mind, get a gift, it's good. Now the funny thing is with this, that I needed to wait until it crosses the river. <laughs> and it's kind of a funny moment, you know, you see the ghost at the top and the gift. You see that this game, this is what Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons is all about, you know, these little funny cute moments, remember moments that you just enjoy, you know, always something to, you know, to do uh, in different uh, times of the day, cute little surprises, when you walk around you know, don't know really what to expect, uh, you know, so it's really fun, I enjoy it. So this was a really cool moment, I actually took a screenshot of this, because it was a unique picture, the gift with the ghost. Uh, because both give you something, you know, so at this point I was really excited because I know that I get good stuff. Now you can see there's actually the icon for the, um, for the spirits, I only have uh, three, so I need uh, two more, there are a total of five of them. Now I was actually curious whether I can actually sell those I don't know, guys, please, I have to try, like, you're gonna try this as well, so I'm gonna do this for you. So I just went on to the shop in order to see, of course, I equipped uh, uh, the net because the tarantula hang around. This is my house, hello. I'm still working on it, I'm just a beginner, you know. So I went to the shop in order to see whether I can sell, oh, yeah, and I find another one on the way. Ha, huh, I didn't even expect it to be here. One miss, second miss, come on, noob, get it, nice. So I got it. And then I headed to the shop because I needed to uh, see whether I can sell those uh, those spirits. Maybe they're worth millions, you know? Who knows? So, I went in and I checked. And, please, please, sell it for a few million bells. I'll be very happy. Million each, two million each, three million. And, no, you can't actually, you see? I click, I click, you can't, it's disabled, it's grayed out, you can't do anything. So, you can't sell the spirits, so don't even try. Uh, so, I continue, uh, you know, now I already covered the outer skirts of the island, so I knew it's not there. So I thought maybe it's going to be kind of in the middle section, it's the only area that I didn't search. Uh, you know, spending so much time, but I get around, you know, where it should be, more or less. You can actually change the angle, lower the angle just to get a clear more flat view instead of bird's eye view it give you understanding because if you see the ghost because it's floating you're gonna see it from a bit far away so this is why it's better to change the angle to a little low angle and then you'll be able to probably see it this is the last one uh, near the river floating in the middle area where I actually thought it would be and it was indeed there and then all I need to do is just head back and give those five spirits to the wisp ghost and get my reward. Now the ghost will ask you to hand it over and of course you do it. There's a cute animation and then uh, it's gonna ask you what gift do you want and it's nice having these two options instead of just getting a gift. So you can decide which one you want, either something expensive or something that you don't have. I think later on the game, if you probably get some things that you already have, you only ask the other option. Uh, right now I just ask give me the more expensive stuff. And uh, you know, something expensive as you can see. And then uh, I was really excited to see what it is because it was clothing. You can get different stuff, but I get clothing and I'm really excited to get clothing. Get a cheers filled coat. I said, oh, this is so sophisticated. This is going to be something cool. I actually imagine it in my head. And uh, this actually was something that I imagined it was indeed like that. And it was a really cool coat. Now I'm checking this out. And this was really worth it. You can get really cool stuff from it. Now from a cute to something with cute clothing to something more formal, as you can see. Where? Oh, I like it. Oh, this is just beautiful. Look at this. So cute. Super kawaii. So I'm really happy. This was well worth it. This has made my night. I can farm for days for days and I won't get something like this. You get from gifts and it's a really cool gift. I didn't even check how much it cost. I don't care. Whatever it is, it's just beautiful. And later on, um, I went on to the room and I'm going to show you because I wanted to also uh, put some pants on, of course. 
this looks kind of funny like this. Uh, so I went on to the to my house to make some uh, uh, refinements, and as you can see, I added uh, pants. Now it looks super classic, just beautiful. And the glasses, the green glasses, perfectly fit actually the shirt. I mean, just a perfect look. So this is it. This is Wisp. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe, and I see you on the next video. And if you have don't have this game, get it. It's an amazing game. Bye bye.